Here I am, South Spiran Way, and that there behind me, yeah, it's the first time I saw since uh, I started this section, and uh, I'm not too sure it's the right way. I had to dodge a couple of them anyway, um, but the signs are really small for the turn off, so just be careful. But at least there was some verge to walk on at the side of the road, um, so it wasn't all too bad, but there's some dangerous bends there, so, you know, take, take as much care as you can. about you but that looks very pig and ritualistic to me Bessie Bell conquered legs kill me though leg is absolutely killing me it's, uh, it's not 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 in too great a shape I'm walking, I am walking, at a reduced pace, mind you, but I'm walking, I'm going to get to Gorchin anyway, Gorchin, Gorchin, these bloody place names and their pronunciations. Can I just say a massive thank you to Pam and Mark, who picked me up from the Welland Country Inn, brought me to their home in Oma, to, with all their lovely dogs, their well, three dogs, four cats and two turtles, <laughs> well, uh, took me in, fed me. And uh, dropped me back there just this morning, and I'm on my way again. Uh, had a really nice rest. Needed the bed, I think. So this is a bit more like it. This is what I want to see when I'm out hiking. These absolutely stunning landscapes, these stunning views, and these wild, wild places, stuff like that. That's what you wanna see when you're hiking. That's what you wanna see. <laughs> I don't actually believe it. I managed to get an actual wild deer, or stag, whichever one it is, on camera. And he just stopped and he looked at me and everything. <laughs> Oh, clearly not camera shy. <laughs> Fantastic. This is what a walk like this should really consist of. It's not just your same old boring uh, forestry with just trees and a path. This has brought me in and I've seen a beautiful sight. I'm weaving in and out, I'm, I'm going around bridges, I'm following the river, it's kind of weaving out in and out of places. I've seen deer, I've seen, you know, this, this, this has revitalized me again. This is what I wanted, this is what it has to be like. Like roads, I can't stand them. I'm absolutely loving my experience in this. So I'm just leaving Gorchi now. And um, yeah, I decided to take a bit of a break, take a bit of a breather. Went into the local pub there. Met a really, really lovely guy who's actually put me up for the night. So uh, thank you very much, Turner. His house is on the route. Got myself a bag of chips. Shorted. It's quite a nice morning actually. It's quite fresh. And uh, beautiful sky behind me. Um, bit windy. Thought it was gonna be rainy now. Blue sky, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, yeah, early start now this morning. And I've got a long way to go.
I'm absolutely shattered. Absolutely shattered. Thankfully, I was able to rest my feet at Hogan Stand Bar with a pint and some excellent conversation. Later then at the Shepherd's Rest Bar and Campsite, I was regaled with poetry by the most wonderful of hosts, Colin. I stood where the ground was hollowed to admit this pile of stink. They placed the coffin upside down, the men upon the brink. How the stony mould did thunder upon the coffin's rump. The fainter grew the rattle, the deeper Jimmy sunk. His mouth now shut forever, his lying tongue now stark. His paws lie still and never more can stab you in the dark. Earth's by far the richer, and hell one border more. Heaven rejoices to be free from such a legal bore. There's tracks and trails everywhere in these woods and you don't really know which way you're supposed to be going. I've taken a couple of chances because there's no Ulster Way signs. Um, so I've just taken a chance and by luck now I've managed to get onto the right path. I found it, I kind of stumbled upon a road, I lost the signs. Stumbled upon a road and it's kind of, it's going in the general direction of what the map is saying, so. To tell you the truth, I was totally lost and I had to end up blundering through a forestry. I made it out onto a path. I'm not too sure if this is the right path, but I'm going following it anyway. It's heading, it's heading towards the direction I'm supposed to be going. So fingers crossed, it'll eventually get back onto the Ulster Way. Bit of an adventure, but a needless one because that's really set me back time wise. I was hoping to get to Dungiven fairly soon and belt on ahead, then further past Dungiven, but oh, just have to wait and see how the rest of the day goes. Um, I don't know if I'm on the right trail, I don't know where the trail is. That's the crap thing about the Ulster Way. You could be walking on it and not see a, 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 a marker for ages. You know how much I hate walking on roads, um, but luckily enough, luckily enough, there are plenty, there's plenty of area to walk on without getting mauled by a car. So, fantastic. Now I must give a shout out to Crust Pizza House in Dungiven, who refueled me with some tasty pizza. Not a bad way to wake you up on a Saturday morning. The first damn Ulster Way sign since... <coughs> Where are they? Those bloody mountains over there. Ridiculous. This road I'm walking on is called the American Road and apparently uh, the US Army came here and built this road all the way up to the top of the cliffs there because they had a, a base probably looking for Soviet submarines or Soviet planes or something like that. But yeah, they built this road and then I think in the 50s they just abandoned it and it's been left here and now it's the Ulster Way. <laughs> Michael Cunn, all the way from Westport in County Mayo, yeah, started, started off in Cork. How long ago? Uh, the 20th of August. 20th of August. Yeah. And heading up, up north to... Ballycastle. Ballycastle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, the finish of the journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah Jimmy, Jimmy, 
McMullen. Jimmy McMullen was kind enough to get out and see what I was up to. He probably thought I was spying for some for someone. <laughs> Just a wee bit inquisitive. You, you, you maybe thought I was being nosy, did you? No, no, not yeah. at all. So it's nice to have the signs to follow again for the trail. So I found a number of stone structures here and uh, I don't really know what they are. It kind of looks like a mine, but uh, yeah, just not sure. That seems fairly interesting though. It's totally ridiculous. There's no signs. There's no pathway, there's nothing to tell you where to go. I'm pretty much scrambling over bog and heather and uh, just get, trying to make my way through it. Just, I see the wind farms over there and I, 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 I know on the map that I, that I passed them by. But it's just, it's, it's just, it's just not acceptable. Like what would happen if I got caught here with a uh, cloud came over me, I had nowhere where I was going or, or how to get anywhere. Um, the Ulster Way signposting is, is atrocious. It's just not adequate for it at all. So it's wet, it's miserable, but at least I do have company. Castle Rock. It's um, it's a bit boring actually. Um, it's a fairly windy day. I'm kind of enjoying the wind blowing at me. Woohoo! Lovely bit of fresh wind to wake you up in the morning. Woohoo! It's just forest after forest, and not really much is happening. We walked coast to coast. How does it feel? Not quite yet. I've got to get down to the coast, <laughs> but I can see the coast from here. It feels quite good actually. It doesn't feel that my Ireland Way journey is coming to an end, but obviously, given the fact that um, I'm here and I can see the North Atlantic Ocean, um, the beginning of the end really. The beginning of the end, and uh, feels good. Feels very good. <laughs> when we arrived at the Manaman McLear Monument, the wind and rain smashed us, meaning I had to keep the camera concealed. The trail has brought us to uh, Downhill Forest and it's absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, really enjoying walking, walking through it, it beats getting off the roads anyway. I made it to the coast. I started at one coast, I made it to the other coast. Also, the sparrings are finished, they're done. I'm out, I'm, I'm, I'm off the trail. All that's left now is the march to Ballycastle. Straight along the coast. It's been one hell of a ride so far. <laughs>